I think it's important we want to provide you as much context into this and what led up to it as possible. And it's also important to point out that this is an isolated incident of an arrest where there is an investigation into violence and a violent suspect. Now, what the video doesn't show that's been circulating social media is everything that led up to it. Superhuman strength. You'll hear officers use that term when they're talking about dealing with someone who is acting violent and also high on drugs, especially methamphetamine. It makes it to way where they are continuously combative with officers. It's also why you see so many officers in this video. An officer there. You can hear the canine officer there. If I, I mic'd now, uh, you can hear them say, stop biting the dog. And as stated, we know that Hersey was arrested. That's the man that they're trying to contain in this video. He was arrested at least three times within three days by three different law enforcement agencies. He was arrested two days prior to this incident by Anderson police for being on drugs in public. He spent eight hours in jail for that. The next day he got a DUI for apparently driving under the influence of drugs and was arrested by the CHP. He spent 13 hours in jail there. Now the day after that puts us to January 3rd, the day of this incident where he was released from jail at 839 in the morning only to get into this altercation with police six hours later. And I've spoken with Reading Police Chief Bill Schuler. He said all of this does not justify what you see in the video, at least what they are investigating. But that's now up to Anderson Police Department to decide. And I know the officer who is being investigated also had no prior incidents of violating police conduct. So just more to the story that we are finding out since this video has come out, as well as those statements.